Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela here and today's video is going to be focused on a few home improvements that I've been doing. After moving into my apartment a little earlier this year, I largely only got the basics of the apartment, like the larger furniture, but I really haven't done anything to fully furnish it. So I wanted to show you guys a few updates to the apartment and some of the little things that I've been adding to make it a little bit more home. addition is my bookshelf right here. I've been getting a ton of books lately, mostly because my firm has a learning and development fund that you can use towards courses or other things that help you professionally and I've just been using it all towards books. So I have a ton of books that I wanted to fill up a bookshelf with. I searched up a couple of tips online so I'm thinking of doing one of those rainbow bookshelves and doing darker colors at the bottom and lighter on top and then mixing and matching the books with a couple of objects. This is literally all the books that I have. There's so many so I'm going to start organizing them into different colors. Okay, my pile of white books is really stacking up. Oh, I've heard this book is really good, so I'm excited to read it. And I'm also really excited to read Crying in H Mart. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have any book recs or have read any of these books. So I now have my books sorted into my roughly blue pile, my black, brown, and grays, yellows and oranges, all of the whites, and all of the reds. I just finished organizing my bookcase. I tried to make all of the books stand out exactly the same so it will look a little bit more neat. And I have it color coordinated from white to the oranges and yellows, the reds, all the way down to the blues, the browns, and the blacks. And I also have some cute display items here. I have this mirror slash vase thingy, piece of pottery that I made from Color Me Mine in New York. I have a bookmark here that I got from a wedding. This little sushi light thing on top of a book about aesthetic dining. A little Dior lipstick case and a rose compartment thingy. And this little spiky ball. have these two pieces of art up now and these two pieces of art are actually just for our family home but we weren't really using them so I decided to bring them into my apartment and they fit perfectly I really like the wooden detail let me know if any of you guys can tell what these pieces of art are I thought it was just random abstract art but that one is actually the face of a person with a hat on it and same with this one I think it's a woman I was debating what to do with these three tinier pieces of art and I wasn't sure if I wanted it spread across the TV or like this but I actually do like them stacked on top of one another. For this one, I do think it is just abstract art. I can't even tell what it is but if anyone thinks that this looks like something, let me know. But I do love how it adds a little bit of a pop of pink and a pop of orange into my apartment because my apartment otherwise is very beige and neutrals. So this final piece of art that I added was also from our home and we weren't using it. There's a little chip here but otherwise I really like the size of it. It fits perfectly right where my dining room table is and I think it completes the look very well. I got this cute little tray with a flower on it and also this rose scented candle from Dossier. Floral kind of perfumes, especially rose scented ones are one of my favorite scents. So I really like this one and I think these two look so nice together as a centerpiece on my coffee table because prior to that I didn't really have anything on my coffee table, it was just always empty. 
So one extra addition to my dining room table and I really like collecting things to add to my apartment that I feel are a bit more meaningful. So this one is from a wedding that I went to. Dried flowers, so I think it'll always stay this way. And they had this on all of the tables and they were giving it out to all of the guests at the end. So I picked this one out and now it's a staple on my dining room table with my candle. So another piece that I've added to my apartment is this piano right here. It's a keyboard piano and I really wanted a keyboard that would be able to look a little bit like furniture too and because this has a wooden case it matches the rest of my apartment because there are a lot of medium tone and light tone woods throughout my apartment so when i was a little kid i took piano lessons i was never very good at it but i thought that i would pick it back up again now as an adult and basically relearn how to play the piano and the spot is actually perfect for this piano because I didn't have anything in this nook previously but this piano fits almost perfectly to the T. Seriously, I love this area because the sunlight hits just right over here and because I live in an apartment building, I really like how this specific keyboard has the ability to plug in my earphones so that I can play and listen by myself and it doesn't disturb any of my next door neighbors. There's also just a ton of parts in my apartment that are a little bit unorganized. When I moved in, I kind of just settled everything that I already owned down, but I didn't take the time to buy any kind of organization trays or anything to really spruce things up. I just put everything exactly where it is. And now it's starting to get a little bit messy. It takes me a lot of time to find things. So I'm going to take you guys to a little target trip with me to find a few things that can help me organize a little bit more easily. This is going to be my super comfy outfit for Target. So I have my Target haul right here and a bunch of baskets. I got six of these and I'm going to start to put everything into these. I managed to actually use all of the different boxes that I got and there is so much more room left in these closets and it's just a lot easier to see where things are. So I have one box here holding all of my cleaning supplies. I have another one here that I am using to hold all of my small bags. One to hold all of my winter accessories like scarves and gloves before they were kind of just all scattered up here. I have the final three over here. This is where I'm going to put all of the skincare and bath products that I haven't yet used. This one for any makeup products and this one just for spare toilet paper. And there is so much room left in this closet after putting everything into boxes. And for some reason compartmentalizing things just gives me so much peace. My makeup and jewelry area feels a little bit more organized now. I think it's probably going to get messy again very soon after I use it. But for now, I'm going to try to maintain it best I can like this. <laughs> 